All right, guys, we have the 6-0 Ruby pedal. It is one of the most popular paddles on the market right now, and we are going to review it and compare it to all the other pedals that I have used. So as always, guys, with our paddle reviews, we will review every single category and rate it out of 10, and we will see the pros and cons of the Ruby for this episode, and we will see by the end what the overall rating of the paddle is and how it stacks up against the rest. As we can see from the Ruby paddle, if you notice from the clips, it actually gets pretty dirty. I don't know if that affects the spin or any of the shots at all, but you will notice if you run your hand through it, you will find a, quite a bit of dust from your paddle. So do be aware of that. Other than that, from the clips, most of the shots for drops and resets, as well as dinks, will actually feel kind of awkward coming from a poppy paddle. And what I mean by this is if you have a paddle similar to the Perseus, it has a lot more pop than the Ruby. So you are going to find a little bit more difficulty as you need to put more power against those shots. I actually do compare it to closer to the Hyperion. To be honest, the Ruby is kind of what I thought the Perseus would have been, but as we know, the Perseus is way more poppy. And overall, I do kind of suffer with my game from the resets and drops, approaching from transitioning from the Perseus. But if you have a more control paddle, I don't see that being too big of a problem. Now with Dinks, it's pretty easy to control with the Ruby. It has a relatively plush feel to the paddle, so you do feel like you get a lot of control and they go effortlessly in. I do not have too many complaints for Dinks, so with all that said, I do actually rate it higher. I do rate Dinks a 9.5 out of 10 with this paddle. Now for driving at the ball, the spin really carries this paddle when driving. When you really slam through that ball and add a lot of top spin, the balls do drop, so you can find your balls a lot lower and a lot faster causing you to have really deadly drives i do really like it with this paddle so with those two elements combined i do give drives a 9 out of 10 combined with the spin now with lobs lobs are pretty in the middle of the road here with this paddle there's nothing really special you can get them relatively easily if you play them well again you just need to swing through those shots there's not that much pop put more swing through and your lob should be fine i'll give lobs an 8 out of 10 with the ruby now for speed ups and fast hands in general this is my most and least favorite part of the paddle starting with the least favorite part about it when i do find myself in a tight situation where i need to react fast and swipe through the ball i do find myself hitting the net this might be a transition from the perseus so i just have to get used to the shape of the paddle so this could get better over time but right now i'm having that problem but with the main pros this is a very good fast paddle i find myself especially comparing it to the perseus and other paddles that i've used I really can just get my paddle back up ready for the next shot after hitting a hard speed up. It is really good with fast hands and with the power dynamic of the paddle, you can really swing through those balls, get ready for the next one. I do like the speed ups. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 with the only 0.5 being deducted with, again, those big pressure situations. The ball comes up short. Now, with all the scores combined, the Ruby gets an 8.5 out of 10. This is my new paddle I will be using, so I don't really have super complaints about it but there are just some little minor inconsistencies that i can work on so i can get better with the paddle overall it's a great paddle i definitely do recommend to get it and as always guys make sure to like and subscribe for more of these videos and i'll see you in the next review